Okay, so for this video, we're gonna be talking about Camp Casey and mainly about what the barracks room situation is going to be like if you are an officer or an E7 or above here, right? So I got two rooms total and right now we are in my living room. So I'm gonna show you guys what the living room looks like. So this is the door right when you come in and I have two doors actually, two. And you come in and this is what I got so far. I got my patches laid out right here. So in case I need a patch or something real quick, like bam reminds me, got my tripod right here, my PS4, but I know TVs are only like $100, $150, but I'm going to live without a TV for 12 months at least. And when I get back to the States, I'll be fine. I have my laptop, right? So back to the video, we have a couch right here. It's pretty, uh, it does the job. Got my dog tags right there. This is my internet situation we got. And then here's my desk where I do a lot of my work at whenever I'm not at work. So I have my camera gear laid out right here, battery, GoPro case, lenses, a second camera, GoPro camera, phone, wallet, got my laptop. It's been rocking with me for about four and a half years now. Got my beret, books. If you have not read this book yet, this is a great book. How to Win Friends and Influence People. Old book, but very great book. My notebook. Uh, just a bunch of throwaways, wires, knives. Another book, more notebooks. And then all my binders and stuff. Then we move to the closet and my closet this is my I have two closets and this is my civilian closets where I keep all my civilian clothes and everything turtlenecks definitely in season here and then uh, shoes on the top suitcase broom backpacks that's a military backpack it shouldn't be in here but we'll fix that later then moving on we have my workout area or I guess my supplement area so right now I'm on BPN, Strong Reds. I take one scoop a morning, every morning. Then I have a BPN Embrace the Suck pre-workout. I really love Embrace the Suck because I don't get the tingly feeling after when I take it. Compared to like taking Beyond Lit, I get tingly and I hate the tingly feeling. Then next, this was my first protein powder I had here, but I ordered this from the States. BPN, Milk and Cookies. Now this pre-workout is, or not pre-workout, this protein powder, it is so good. Then this is where I have my shaker bottles. I have one more shaker bottle, I left it in the car. This is for my whey protein. This is for my BPN Strong Reds. This is my sink, my water source, trash is underneath, paper towels and everything in there. Then moving on to the sink area. I need to clean the mirror, but you know, normal essentials over here, brushes and everything, lotion, all that stuff, right? Then going to the bathroom. That's, that's pretty much it. That's the bathroom. Moving on to the kitchen section now. This is where I do all my sandwich making, which I do a lot of sandwich making. Um, I have paper plates up here, Nutri-Grain bars, peanut butter on peanut butter. Well, I guess it's not on peanut butter. Now it's on peanut butter, peanut butter on peanut butter. I've got my bowl right here and another bowl somewhere. Um, I got my ramen. I don't know what it says. So like, I hope I'm not going to die that soon. Um, my honey, more ramen. Sometimes I buy ramen here or buy things here and I don't even know if it's spicy sometimes. I'm just like, I hope it's not spicy. And it always ends up being spicy. When you go to other countries, that's what happens. You don't know what you order half the time, at least for me. Got some iPro here, I don't know why it's up here, and some Korean, Korean wan. Um, these snacks right here, terrible, horrible. That's what happens when you go to other countries and you try new things. You'll find things you love and things you hate. All right, my rice cooker right here. Some stuff is just over there. Then, you know, we got the fridge. Not much in there. And we got the freezer. And then a bunch of the cabinet space underneath and Alexa, she is amazing. Moving on to the second room. This is where I do all of my sleeping. 
this is the military closet i feel like it's yeah this is my military closet and i got my duffel bag right down here got my law enforcement stuff and i got my plate carrier got my backup boots my main daily boots my oakley's laundry bag second suitcase got my mp bag up here got my got my belt pc and a bunch of stuff i don't put on my belt oh yeah and my comforter stuff because i'm only here for 12 months moving on now we got my lamp thank goodness for this lamp i don't know why it's on got my family right here when we were in paris then we got my bed Super Bowl champions, Dallas Cowboys. Got to represent even in Korea. So second door, like I told you guys. Then I got my drawers. And you know, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. It does the job and everything. Oh yeah, I forgot to point this out. This is the heater. Now I had to get one of these, an air purifier. Cause if you guys know or don't know in Korea here, sometimes there's gonna be days where you're not going to want to go outside without a mask. So I just keep this on. It's a Febreze one. I have a filter in here. The filter lasts for four months. And whenever I leave for work, I always turn it up all the way. Oh, that was off. <laughs> I turn it up to the highest setting because I love coming to my room and it smells like, it smells fresh afterwards. And then I put it on the lowest setting so I can hear my alarm. But yeah, that is my room tour, everybody. Camp Casey Barracks for officers, E7 and above. And you know, in E6, you might make it into the these barracks also, there's a couple different barracks on Camp Casey, so you could be living in a lot of different, you would have a lot of different living situations. All right, I hope you guys have a nice day. Watch some more of my videos, subscribe and like the video, comment down below if you have any comments or anything you wanna say. With that being said, I'm tired, very tired here in South Korea, so I'm gonna get some sleep. Ciao.